This is what an image normally looks like. This is what it looks like after you put different blend modes in Photoshop. Today, let us go through how to use different blend modes and compare the differences between them. And I even made a comparison PSD file, which is free for everyone. Before downloading the file in the description, please subscribe and hit the like button. A layer with blend modes can merge colors and patterns between your layers to create cool effects and surprising new images. To apply a blend mode is easy. For example, here I built a square with a solid color. And if we go to the Layers panel, you will find that there are more than 20 different blend modes grouped into six categories. By default, your blend mode will be normal. And if you change the blend mode into Dissolve, there is nothing changed. You will have to make some opacity for the layers. Or build something with a feathered edge. Dissolve blend mode cannot be seen if it's solid color. Besides normal and dissolve, there are 20 different blend modes in Photoshop. Allow me to build a file for comparison. I'll leave you guys the PSD file in the description to download. To facilitate comparison of these different blend modes, I set each of these blocks into one of the 20 blend modes and also put them into the groups and order the same as Photoshop does, as you can see. With the same graphic color, some blend modes make the image lighter, some are darker, and blend mode works similarly in the same group. At this moment, they look super confusing. To make the complicated simple, you only need to know three key points. One, blend mode works differently with different background color. You can see we are keeping the blend mode unchanged, only changing the background. will give you a different result. 2. Changing the layer's color will also affect the final result. For example, with the same background, changing the color of these blocks will also give you a cool new look. 3. Lowing down the opacity will also low down how much this blend mode affects to the background. To fully understand the science behind each blend mode is a big no-no for a beginner. Even Photoshop knows that. So when you change the blend mode, you only need to mouse over each one of them. The blend mode with different result will show on the image accordingly. Thanks for watching. In the future videos, I will keep building PSD files if they can better help with your Photoshop skill. For free and for everyone to download, of course. Don't forget to subscribe.